Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. Shout hallelujah, saints. Give glory to God. Somebody heard what I said and I heard you say, shout hallelujah, saints. Give glory to God. Shout hallelujah, saints. Give glory to God. Shout hallelujah, saints. Give glory to God. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 6. I pray, God, that you allow me to be, make me be on assignment today to do that which you called me to do in talking about the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. The Bible says in the year, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible, but please just follow me as best as you can in the version you have, or feel free to look at the screen. It says, in the year that the king Uzziah died, that king Uzziah died, in a vision I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne. And he, uh, the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up. And the skirts of his train filled the, the most holy part of the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings. With two each covered his own face, and with two each covered his feet, and with two each flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Now, in the exchange of the holy, 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 that's where glory was stirred. Okay. That's why whenever the word holy is declared in a temple, that should never, it should never go silent without holy being echoed back. So let's try it right now. Holy. holy. Amen. 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 And the foundations of the threshold shook at the voice of him who cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am undone and ruined, because I am a man. This is how Isaiah responded to the glory. He responded to the glory and said, Woe is me, for I am undone and ruined, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For he was talking about the believers. He, he, he was talking about the believers there. Uh, for my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then the one, then flew, then flew one of the seraphim, heavenly beings to me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from all of the altar of incense in him. And with it touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity and guilt are taken away. And your sin is completely atoned for and forgiven. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? Who will go for us? Then said, I hear am I, send me. Okay. Title of today's message, not necessarily to put God in a box, but necessarily to just guide our thinking, the glory, simply the glory of the Lord. We are embarking on a series discussing the glory of the Lord, and we're starting today. Amen. If you have ever had the chance to go on a cruise, and you get a revelation of how small you are in comparison to the cruise ship, and then you step to the edge and look out on God's great ocean, and then you get a revelation of how small the cruise ship is in relationship to the ocean. Another concept, maybe you didn't get that. Or perhaps maybe you've taken a drive, and between, there's a distance that you have to cover between your point A and your point B. 
and the distance you have to cover between your point A and your point B is much larger or longer than the length of your vehicle. So by comparison, I don't care if you got to drive across.